Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn how to write a Python program to check whether an element exists within a tuple. So given a tuple and given an element, so you have to check if the element is present in a tuple or not. So yeah, so that is a problem statement. So now before solving this uh, Python program, so let me ex explain how I am generally going to solve it. So let me take a tuple that is a sample tuple and uh, let's fill in some values. Let's say 5, 6 and uh, some string that is a hello. So these are these are the sample data elements that I am taking into my tuple and uh, yeah, so now I have to find whether 5 that is an element exists within a tuple or not. So for that I will be using a another variable to get the index. So let's take a my tuple dot index. So there is a function to pass the element and get the index of that element in a tuple. So let me use that uh, function that is an inbuilt function. So let me use index and let me pass the element that is a 5. So I have to get the index of 5 and finally print the index. Yeah, so this is a three line code that is a sample code. So let me run this. And you can see the index 0 has been printed. So now let me change the value that is element to 6. Let me execute. And you can see 1. And now let me change it to something like hello, that is a string and let me run it. So you can see 2 has been printed. So now let me give something non-existing uh, element, let's say 8. So you can see 8 is not present in my tuple. So yeah, so let me run this. So you can see that the program has error out. And there is an exception thrown that is a value error. So the same thing we are trying to use here. So we will take an element and check, check the, try to get the index of that tuple. So if the index is not present, we will try to catch an exception and that is a value error and print the element doesn't exist within a tuple. So yeah, so that is how I am trying to solve this. So let me delete this. So now let's try to write a Python program. So what I'll do is I'll ask a user to enter a length and uh, that is the size of tuple. And once that is done, so let me ask a user to take an empty tuple and uh, ask a user to enter the elements of tuple. And let's use try and uh, catch exceptions. So yeah, so that is a programming sequence that I'll be following. So let me take uh, variable length equals to let's use input function call and let's say let's ask a user to enter the size of tuple. Yeah, so once you once the user enters a size so that will be of integer format. So let me convert that to integer using type conversion. So now let me take an empty tuple equals to that is uh, let's use a tuple yeah sorry this is tuple yeah so this is an empty tuple that I'll be using and uh, trying to fill this empty tuple. So now let me take a for loop and traverse up to 0 to n that is a length and ask a user to enter the elements of uh, tuple. So for underscore in range of uh, let's say length. Yeah and from the 0 to length so you have to ask a user to enter the item or element of a tuple. So let's take a temp variable and here let me use input function call and here let me ask a user to enter the element of tuple. Let's say enter tuple items. So let's convert these to integer. So for uh, 
demo purpose i'll be using an integer over here because uh, let's assume the tuple is of integer type yeah so once we get the temp item that is a temp element of uh, tuple so let's append it to my tuple my tuple plus equals to let's give temp and let's give comma so this is how you add an element to a tuple and this is an immutable so you generally it doesn't add but it creates a new tuple over here so that you have to understand and now let's ask a user to enter an element so let's take a variable element equals to let's use input function call and here let's ask a user to enter an element to check yeah and then again convert these to an integer so because we are using an integer type tuple yeah so once we get the element and the tuple so let's use try block and uh, let's see if index equals to that is a variable that i had shown you previously and take a my tuple dot index get the index of the element yeah so if this is successful so we will print the index that is a element exist in a tuple else what you do is catch an exception that is a value error and print that element doesn't exist within a tuple element don't exist in tuple this is a error statement where your program has uh, not found an element in the tuple else what you do is just print element exist within a tuple and print the index element found in tuple at index let's give colon and here let's print the index yeah, so this is a complete program to ask a user to enter a tuple and enter an element and then finally check if element exists within a tuple or not so instead of try exception block i can i could have also used for loop that is traversing each and every element of uh, the tuple so this is a proper method of solving this program so where we actually get the index of the element and if doesn't exist let's uh, try to catch a value error yeah so now let me run this program and uh, enter the size of tuple so let's give 5 here let's give 1 2 3 4 and 5 now let's uh, check if 3 exists or not so you can see element found in tuple at index 2 so you can see 0 1 2 that is a second index number 3 has been found so now let me run it again and here enter the size of tuple let's give 6 let's give 1 2 3 44 5 6 and now let's check if 4 exists so you can see element don't exist in a tuple that is a exception has been caught and you can find that element doesn't exist has been printed yeah so this is a complete program to check whether an element exists within a tuple or not that's it in this video hope you liked it i'll give the code in a description thank you for watching bye